In this lesson, we will study about 1D tensors in PyTorch. So we will see how to create 1D tensors, uh, what are different types of 1D tensors, how to get their shape, sizes, and how to reshape them. So let's begin. So 1D tensors uh, are an array or list of numbers, vectors, time series. So it can be like uh, an array like 10, 20, 30. You can take a time series value and you can arrange them in a sequence that is 1D tensor. And uh, just to give uh, info which I had already given, 0D tensors are just numbers like 1 is a 0D tensor, 2 is a 0D tensor and so on. So a tensor contains elements of single data type. So if we have a tensor of type float, then all the data types within that will be floats. Mixed types are not allowed. And we will see examples of this in our code and then we will understand it. So first let's see different types of uh, 1D tensors or tensors in general. So uh, one is data type, then we have D type attribute and then we have tensor type. So for 32 bit floating points, uh, the D type is torch.float32 and it will be clear when we see an example of this and its uh, type is float tensor so we get the d type using dot d type on a tensor when we call this it will give us the d type data type stored in that tensor this is the type of data stored in that tensor and this is the type of tensor so if we have a tensor t and we call t dot type it will give us this value if it's a storing float values Similarly, for 62-bit floating point, we have torch.float64 as the D-type and double tensor as the type of tensor. Then we have float16, int8 or char tensor, e unsigned int8 or byte tensor, int16, sort tensor, int32, int tensor and int64, long tensor. So these are the different types. Now let's see how to create a 1D tensor. So first of all, we have to import torch in order to use any functionality of torch. So we import it, then we create it using torch.tensor. So this is the method torch.tensor. This is the constructor. And here what we are passing, we are passing a simple Python list. Now, once we have created our tensor, so this is a Python list. You must be using it for a long time if you, you are familiar with Python syntax. And now uh, we have a tensor X and we want to access some elements of this tensor. So it's a zero based indexing So 0, 1, 2, 3. So what this means X1. So we go to this one index that is second element and it will return torch dot tensor and uh, it will say something like 10 or like this. So we cannot directly access the scalar value. It will return a tensor itself. We will see how to get uh, the value itself. If we are, if we want to work with uh, the values of it, like Python values and not torch tensors, then we have to apply some value attribute, uh, value method to it. But for now, let's forget it. So if we access X1, we will get another tensor, which will contain this 10. In Python list, if we have a list x and we call x1, it returns a value, but here it returns a tensor. Similarly, x3 will return this a tensor having the value 20. And this is the d type and type that we had seen here. So when we call d type, here by default, these are all integer values. So possibly it will return in 64 or rather torch dot in six in 64 and if you call x dot type it will return long tensor or torch dot long tensor now let's see some other types of tensor so everything remains same only thing is that you see here 5 dot o instead of 5 10 15 now you see that all the values are floats so if you print d type it will return torch dot uh, float 32 and don't worry we will see a running example of all of these in google colab notebook and here type will be 
torch knot float tensor so this is the type of tensor and d type is the type of data stored in it here uh, there is another method of uh, specifying uh, the type so you see that here it's the same example torch dot tensor the list and we are passing floating point values dot zero dot dot zero everywhere but we can specify d type here in the constructs constructor itself as the second parameter so the values are float themselves but we are explicitly passing it toss dot in 32 so we are saying that i want to store in 32 so it will ignore these values that we have ex explicitly passed and if you print this x it will print toss dot tensor and you will see 5 10 15 20 instead of this decimals uh, floating points and if you print d type it will print torch dot in 32 this value because we have explicitly specified it next uh, there is another way of creating a float tensor or any other tensor so you directly pass the type of tensor so instead of torch dot tensor we are saying it i want to create a float tensor so we say torch dot float tensor and the list so here we are passing list but once you print this x you will see that you will get torch dot tensor and the values will be 5 dot 10 dot and so on so it has created a float tensor and you can verify it by printing x dot type now uh, we can convert a tensor from one type to other so this is a normal let's say in 64 tensor all values are integer and you can verify it by passing and by uh, printing the type and d type here after that we change its type so the way to do it x equal to x dot type so this is a method and the type that we want to convert it to so toss dot float tensor so convert this x to float tensor and store it in x, x itself now if you print x dot type it will say toss dot float tensor this value and if you print x it will be 5 dot 10 dot and so on torch dot tensor next we have size and n dimension methods so this is a tensor having five elements if we print size it will return five or rather torch dot size five and if we print the n dimension it will return one since it's a 1d tensor there is just one dimension if we have let's say a 2d tensor uh, where we have uh, let's say 3 cross 2 so it will be like uh, 3 rows so 1 2 3 and 2 2 columns so it's a mistake here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 So if we create a tensor like this it will be 3 cross 2 so its dimension is 2 but here the dimension is 1 so it, it will print 1 now let's see how to change the dimension of a tensor or reshape it so the same example we have uh, five elements it's a 1d tensor now we convert it reshape it using view method so here in the view we pass the dimensions so we pass 5 and 1 that is convert it to 5 cross 1 that is 5 rows and 1 column so what it will do 1 column is there and 5 rows are there so 5 10 15 20 25 and then the now this has 5 rows and 1 column in each row so it's you can verify it by printing the dimension again x dot n dimension if you call now it will return two dimensions and the shape you can also print the shape using shape attribute and it will print 5 cross 1 and in the earlier example it will just print 5 so let's uh, run through uh, an example in our google collab notebook then uh, we will it will also act as a practice exercise for what we have learned so now we have a Google Colab notebook open. 
so you can add text so first of all we will import torch this is mandatory and then let's enter a text here we want to create tensors so first default we will create torch dot tensor we will pass a python list 5 10 15 20 25 and let's print x so it prints this tensor and once you have imported imported torch it will be there for all the cells that we execute below it and let's print the type and d type x dot d type and also print So it prints int 64 and the type is long tensor. So D type is an attribute, type is a method and this shows the type of data stored in it and this tells us the type of tensor. Now uh, we will have a float tensor. So the same thing. and let's add these also and here we will have 5.0 10.0 now you see uh, the t type attribute is showing us torch.float32 and the type is torch.float tensor uh, next let's repeat this logic but this time we will pass d type in the constructor so only addition is d type equal to torch dot int 32 although the values are float here and it's reflected here now uh, uh, we can create a tensor using that uh, torch dot float tensor method or torch dot int tensor or long tensor so let's say we have x equal to torch dot float tensor and then we have 5 10 15 20 25 and let's repeat this So we are creating a float tensor and passing int values still you see the float value being reflected here and the type changing accordingly. Next we will change the type of tensor. So what we will do. So till this point it will be int and then what we will do. We will print it again but before that we will change the type x dot type torch dot float tensor so there is a typo in type oh let's add a section here 
So you see the size is 5, torch dot size 5 and the dimension is 1. It's a 1D tensor. So what we will do, uh, we will reshape it. using view method so there are two ways you can use a view method so let's take this example x itself so x will be accessible here you can verify it by printing it so it's available here so what we will do x equal to x dot view and let's say we want to cast it to 5 cross 1 so 5 rows 1 column if you print it you see now it's 2d tensor and if we print x before it now it's already changed so uh, it's reflecting the same thing until we change it again so before this it was a 1d tensor now it's a 2d tensor so now what we will do uh, let's print the size and dimension you can also print the shape shape attribute so its size is 5 cross 1 dimension is 2 now it has 2 dimension you see here it was 1 and the shape attribute is also showing 5 cross 1 there is another way of using this uh, view so let's keep it as it is so instead of 5 let's say you know you don't know the exact number of elements but you want number of columns to be one and let PyTorch figure out what is the number of rows by itself then you can pass minus one here if you don't know the number of rows here we explicitly passed five but here we pass minus one and now let's see it's able to do the same thing and in future let's say we have six elements instead of five we don't need to change anything this will work as it is now it's just 6 cross 1 uh, so uh, in future lesson we will see uh, more uh, operations on this 1d tensor we will see slicing indexing and uh, applying some functions like uh, trigonometric functions and other things on 1d tensor and then we will follow our discussion on our 2d and higher dimension tensors so see you in the next video